Maddie, do not give it to her! Treason, written by Bridge of Spies screenwriter Matt Charman, stars Cox as MI6 agent Adam Morans, who is promoted to the top of the food chain after the chief is threatened with assassination. But when Kara, a Russian spy with whom he has a convoluted background, forces him to confront his past, he is forced to rethink everything and everyone in his life. Treason started 15 years earlier in Baku, where MI6 agent Adam Lawrence established his name by preventing a calamity at the local embassy. To avoid having their connection revealed and being unable to claim credit for protecting the citizens of the embassy, Adam fled and left Kara in the country, where her team was assassinated by an MI6 agent with the codename Dorian. He was acting on a tip from his secret lover, Russian spy Kara. In the present, MI6 chief Sir Martin Angelis is of the opinion that Adam is Dorian. This is as a result of his quick promotion inside the organization as well as the CIA, designating him as a person of interest. They are technically correct, as it happens. Adam has received important information from Kara throughout the years that has helped him win big battles, but he wasn't aware that Kara was using him. Kara poisoned Angelis to get Adam promoted to chief so he could assist her find out who killed her crew and be in a position of control. A major leadership contest for number 10 is taking place in the midst of all of this and is being exploited by Russian agents. In order to turn Robert Kirby into a double agent for the Kremlin and purchase his way back into the motherland, Anton Melnikov was financing his campaign. Angelis was well aware of this, but he also intended to allow it to happen so that he could later publicly reveal the conspiracy in order to further his status within MI6 a document that exposed Audrey Gratz, the foreign secretary who opposed Kirby, of having used a government plane to bring in a doctor. With the goal of aiding in her mother's suicide was one of the many illegal papers that Angelus retained to control powerful individuals. In the second last episode, Angelis had Adam and Melnikov killed in an effort to blame Kara for both killings and hide his own involvement. However, when Kara rescued Adam and his family from MI6 assassin Barnes, Angelis contacted CIA agent friend of Adam's wife, Maddie Deed, to recruit the help of her squad to kill Adam and Kara. The final episode launches with a two-pronged assault. Maddie meets with Gratz after cunningly giving a phone and a note to Adam, Kara, and Malik. She offers to protect Adam from legal action if Adam can obtain Angelis's files. Everyone benefits, excluding Angelis, of course. Malik makes the decision to cooperate and turns on the tracker on Olamide's phone, which takes him to a construction site where people are digitizing files and shredding the original paper copies. Here, everything starts. As you already know, the CIA's Baku file assumes that Adam is Dorian. Kara is able to sneak a peek at this document and steals the hard drive containing the digitized copies, strangling Olamide to death when she is caught. At around the same time as Deed and her hit squad show up, Maddie arrives to offer assistance. After a brief gunfight, Deedee Dee holds Adam at gunpoint. Adam lunges towards Deed, and she shoots him dead as she is ready to give the hard drive to Maddie. With the hard disk, Kara and Maddie run away. Patrick and Malik are forced to find Kara and get rid of her by whatever means necessary by Angelus, who blames Kara for Adam's murder and uses their desire to become C as leverage. Due to Grant's refusal to accept the files after learning about Adam's passing, Kara and Maddie are left entirely on their own and without any allies. She instructs Maddie to give them back to Angelus instead, reasoning that if he reveals Adam to be a double agent, he would also undermine Kirby, ensuring her position in number 10. Maddie and Kara plan to lay a trap to catch the genuine double agent because Angelus' files only use the codename Dorian and merely think it's Adam. Kara maintains that since Adam was present the night her men were killed, it couldn't have been him. Irina Belovo receives information on the compromet from Kara, who then passes it on. Dorian will expose himself to get the information, according to logic. Angelus has scheduled a hearing before the Commons Intelligence Committee, so Maddie must snoop around there. Patrick just so happens to be leaving the hearing as she arrives and runs into her. When he makes an obvious attempt to seize the data she is carrying, Maddie realizes that Patrick is indeed Dorian. She pokes him in the throat with the hard drive, drops him off for Kara to get and enters the hearing with the files. Gratz seizes the chance to reveal Angelus' extortion and starts clearing Adam's name. Maddie confronts Angelus and gloats that he killed the wrong man and that Patrick is actually Dorian. Kara at last exacts her retribution. She poisons him with a toxin shown on the image of her and her team from Baku, 
only seconds after Patrick calls to confirm he is Dorian. In another instance, Maddie calls Deed and threatening to reveal what she'd done and ruin her career. After a heartfelt farewell with Kara, Maddie leaves to inform Ella and Callum of their father's death on her own. 